Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the brown teal, the largest and only flightless member of the three brown plumaged teals endemic to the New Zealand region, which were once widespread but are now currently endangered. I hope you enjoy. Brown teals are a species of dabbling duck which are the largest and only flightless members of the three brown plumaged teals endemic to the New Zealand region. Both sexes are dark brown, although they vary in plumage and size. Males in breeding plumage have an iridescent green iridescence on their head, having a darker breast and having varying levels of light and dark brown flank feathers with a whitest patch at the tail base. Females, on the other hand, are typically uniformly dull but dark mottled brown, although they all share a conspicuous white eye ring and dark grey bills, legs and feet. They are most similar to the related Campbell and Auckland Island teals, although both are slightly smaller, with shorter wings making them flightless, as well as differing genetically. Their diets are quite diverse, with a study from Great Barrier Island recording 78 consumed taxa, including terrestrial, freshwater and marine invertebrates, fungi and terrestrial slash freshwater vegetation. They also seem to be quite partial to mollusks and crustaceans, incorporating a peculiar technique as of now undocumented in other birds, in which they force their rather soft bills between the shell of the animal, and then tearing out the flesh with a jackhammer-like pumping motion, with them often feeding at night and generally being crepuscular. This species is in fact the progenitor of the flightless Auckland and Campbell Island teals, which are now all recognised as separate species on account of their geographic isolation and their plumage, size and genetic distinctions, although they used to be considered conspecific due to their relatively similar appearance. Brown teal populations generally comprise of a single aggregated flock, with them generally being fiercely territorial, with them nesting in late winter, and their nests being constructed out of down, dry grass, and or fern clumps either near water or under shelter. Males undergo a change of colour, having green-coloured heads, chestnut-coloured breasts, and a white stripe on each side of their body, with some also having a white clerical neckband. The female lays large pale eggs, each weighing as much as 10-11% of their body weight, and are laid daily, with the average clutch size being about 5-6, to six, and their incubation extending for about 28 days. Both parents guard the ducklings during the first 50-55 to 55 days of fledging, after which they are then forcefully evicted from their territory on or about the time the parents start the post-breeding molt. Their omnivorous diet, restricted annual range, crepuscular activity, and mainly terrestrial lifestyle gives them a unique ecological niche among waterfowl, somewhat akin to a wetland rodent. Serving as a classic example of the wide range of selective forces that operated on birds in pre-human New Zealand. Brown teal before human arrival were likely to, and may very well have been, the most widespread and numerous of New Zealand's waterfowl due to their generalist niche, exploiting wet forests, extensive and occluded swamps, streams, lakes and estuaries. They were still abundant after Maori arrival and up until 200 years ago, but became highly endangered since due mainly to the influx of new mammalian predators brought into the country, mainly dogs and mustelids, as well as extensive habitat clearance. This has made them, despite being once the most common of the three and being able to fly, the least secure of New Zealand's three brown plumaged teals, on account of their vulnerability to set mammalian predators, and the ongoing deterioration of agricultural habitats in which they are forced to reside, with the Auckland and Campbell Island birds being better off, due to being secluded on offshore islands, something these birds generally, being found across the country, don't have the luxury of, now being the rarest waterfowl on the mainland. They were also hunted frequently in the early years of colonisation, with them being referred to as brown duck, and were heavily harvested as a food source, and this further crushed their numbers, eventually being protected in 1921. They were also once found on Chatham Island until about 1925, and Stewart Island until 1972. Their present-day habitats and range mostly lies in agricultural environments, wherein the birds use occluded stock ponds as breeding and feeding areas, as well as margins of small streams that retain overhanging marginal vegetation. Now being rare, they are mostly restricted to the northern North Island, being restricted to Great Barrier Island, coastal valleys of eastern Northland, and several locations around New Zealand, where new populations have been established using translocated birds. 
Brown teals are bred in captivity for reintroduction attempts to help their population spread out and to maintain genetic diversity, and have responded well to management, being locally common when protected by introduced predators. These sites include several predator-free islands, the Coromandel Peninsula, Cape Kidnappers and the Clinton Arthur Valley in Fiordland, although success hasn't always been achieved. The population in the South Island, last being thought to have occurred in 2013, is likely to be extinct, having been replaced with captive origin birds from up north. DNA sequencing on specimens recovered from a freezer at Department of Conservation, Tiano, indicated that there was a striking similarity to grey duck and mallard sequences with which they group, therefore seeming likely that the former Fiordland population had at some point in the past hybridised extensively with those other animals likely down to population stresses through high levels of stoke predation. Birds were listed as nationally endangered until 2008, when their conservation status was changed to recovering due to captive breeding and release into predator-controlled areas that have seen their populations increase. The population because of this has therefore jumped from just 700 birds in the wild to now somewhere between 2000 and 2500. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the bush wren, small birds that have the unfortunate distinction of being the most recent New Zealand birds to become extinct. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.